guys and welcome to my closet no for real like welcome to a real person's closet that um, has a bunch of hangers from wearing stuff all week and is messy and yeah I have a lot of work to do in here and I really love watching cleaning and organizing videos I am a naturally messy person for me to have an organized space is to go against my very nature but I love organization I love the way it looks I want my closet to look like a store um, so I need to do some work because my closet has seen better days I have a lot of clean clothes I need to put in here that I've been doing laundry and I also have a lot of stuff that's left over from summer that I need to start storing away and also pick things for Poshmark so I figured I'd take you along with me today as I clean um, and declutter and kind of pick some things for Poshmark put away things for summer um, and get this place looking a lot better so let me show you the current state of affairs and if you start getting a little bit of a judgy face like just check your face check your judgment we all have weaknesses this is mine so right now this is how I have things organized tank tops sweater t-shirts more sweatery things yeah there's really no reason why those two things are separated this is my dresser that I have down here. I'll show you in a little bit. I have clean clothes in a basket on the ground. I have lots of stuff on the ground. I moved here a couple months ago. I'm still unpacking boxes, which means every time I unpack, I have more things to give up and put away. Um, lots of things for Poshmark down here. And then on this side is where I have my dresses and jackets. So let me give you a little bit of a better view of these things. Also, you know, as always, it's my first time filming it. So, you know, give me a break. Okay guys, here, here's the quick and dirty view. I have a lot to work on in here. Um, my closet was actually pretty clean at, at the end of last week, but I had to give up some boxes to my sister-in-law who's moving, which meant I had to unpack, unpack some boxes that I had been kind of just like storing and not working around, which is a lot of this stuff over here. And I ended up throwing it in my closet because I had a friend over on Sunday and I didn't want him to see it. So, yeah, lots to do. So over here, um, I have a pretty big walk-in closet. So I have a lot of space to work with things. My camera angle is not going to help me much. I have some space up here. I was storing purses. I'm sure there's more that I need to be doing up here to store things better. But it's definitely not like easily accessible. So it has to be stuff that I'm not going to get to all the time. This is kind of the area I have set for my tops, but some of my tops are so long that it's creating issues, so I need to think about that, but it's the best place to store my tops because this side over here only has one rack, and so this is really where I need to store my longer skirts, dresses. Um, I also have, oh yeah, when I told you like this is a mess, it's a legitimate mess. This stack all here is all summer stuff I've already put aside that needs to be packed away for summer. That thread up bag is stuff that needs to go to um, like a Goodwill type situation. This stuff in the corner, God only knows what that is. I have no idea. The stuff hanging here are things that I need to photograph and put up on Poshmark. Um, I have a rack outside of my closet that I'm going to put all that stuff on so I can free up a lot of space. These little boxes are things that came from uh, this box and that stuff down there as well. The stuff that came out of a box I need to unpack so a lot of it is like little doodad things that I just need to find the right space for a lot of them are gonna go in my vanity um, I have hats and then I have the actual drawers and um, I think my drawers are like underwear underwear sleep underwear and um, PJs bras and socks and then I have like tank tops and some t-shirts down there but yeah, uh, those are all clean clothes that I need to hang up and I need to decide if I want to keep them because again, when I moved, um, I decided that, actually, let me, let me get the front facing camera so I know what I'm doing here. Okay. So let me give you some background information so you don't judge me too harshly. Um, when I lived in my old apartment, I had two bedrooms. The second bedroom was devoted just to clothes. Yeah. Just to close i'm not saying it was better organized than this because it was still horrible but i had a lot more space for clothes so now i'm in a one bedroom and i 
I need to work with this closet and have it functional and all that stuff. So when I packed to move, I threw all of my winter stuff in boxes. I haven't gone through it yet. So part of what I need to do is like, I'm, I'm going through now, I'm washing, rewashing everything so it's all fresh and stuff. And I need to decide like which of those winter things I'm keeping um, and which ones again, I'm gonna go on Poshmark or donations. So some of the stuff in this clean pile, I don't even know if I'm gonna keep, but I just went ahead and cleaned all of it so that, you know, I felt good about the fact that I knew it was fine, hadn't been nasty from being in a box for two months, etc., and I could feel comfortable selling it or keeping it or whatever. So I have a lot to go through. What I'm gonna do first is try to take out all the things that don't belong in the closet. So I'm gonna take out all the Poshmark stuff I already know is gonna go on Poshmark and put it on that clothing rack you've seen in, in one of my videos before. Then that box of stuff that like had jewelry and sunglasses and like makeup and stuff, that needs to go out toward my vanity and into my jewelry box area. And so I'll go ahead and remove that stuff. Um, I might go ahead and create a space outside of my closet for summer things so that again, I can work with what's like actually going into my closet and then also put my donations on the rack so that I, again, I'm not leaving all my closet space to stuff that's not staying in there and I can actually find places for the stuff that is staying there. So we'll see how this goes. I'm gonna put you up somewhere where you can see as best as you can and get to work. So I just picked five more items to go into either Poshmark or um, giveaway because these things have been hanging in my closet for a while because I just don't choose to wear them. So obviously they need to go somewhere else that would actually wear them. Also, anyone else too short to do stuff in their closet? Just me? So I am constantly battling hanging up tank tops or not because I feel like they're a waste in my space um, of my closet. I think now that it's not summertime, I'm ready to like put them into some, put them into the um, dresser rather than give them a ton of space here in my closet. Because like, okay, that needs to go into summer. I'm not gonna wear this now. Like I love it, but. I'll wear it in the spring again, or in the summertime. So that's what summer pile. This, I probably won't put away into my summer pile simply because it is so dang comfortable that I'll wear it around the house for things. And so I need to keep this so that I can wear it for just enough normal cleaning and stuff like that. All right, so now I'm gonna remove my summer stash. I'm gonna put that out in the um, main part of my bedroom. I'm definitely gonna have to go through it and decide again if I wanna actually keep it because I don't have a lot of storage space. So anything I keep has to go into these little space bags. They need to be able to fit underneath my bed. So I'm gonna have to be choosy there too. Um, but I got a lot of good stuff this summer and I know I wanna wear it again next summer. So yes, so I'm gonna remove it out so I have more room to work in here. Too many clothes. Okay. Get away. 
I think what I did is when I went and cleaned last time, these were in storage. These, I think, just got put in here because I needed a place to put them. Um, all of my shoes get stored in um, bookshelves outside my bedroom. So I feel like I'm just making more of a mess elsewhere. Obviously, I'm going to have to follow this up by going through my bookcases of shoes and organizing them after this. <sighs> See, this is my problem. Decluttering one area puts clutter in other areas. If I had a system in place, then I would know where to put those things. But like we said earlier about this being against my nature, yeah, that's okay. One step at a time, I can work my way through my entire room. I can bring you along with me. So much fun. Moving all my hangers down here so that they're easier for me to hang up the clean clothes. And I need to clean out this area in front of my dresser so that I can then clear my dresser. Um, so this so far is all tank tops. Got a sock you can put in the dresser. Um, I used to never wear hats, and this past spring and winter, I really started liking a lot of hats. But I'm going to be wearing these a little bit less now that it's moved into fall. Um, so some of these, like some of them I haven't even worn once. I bought this at Urban Outfitters when I went to Asheville, and I haven't worn it a single time yet. It still has the stuff in it. I might just go ahead and sell this on Poshmark, like if I haven't reached for it yet. And I've owned it for an entire season. Am I going to wear it? I don't know. I'm gonna put this in my Poshmark pile. I can always change my mind before I list it. The hat that started my obsession. I like it. I don't know. Something about the mountains. And I think it's a really cute look whenever you're going out, but I need to figure out a better way of storing these. Jeans I've owned for a couple months and haven't worn. I list these on Poshmark and they didn't sell, so I kept them. They're loft, size 26. Um, but I still, even though like I put them back in my closet, I still haven't worn them. I think it's because they're just too light of a denim for me. So I have lots of denim I want to wear. Executive decision, back on Poshmark. smushed handbag. I need to put this somewhere where I can actually use it. I'm going to go with these handbags for now, but they need to be organized. Q-tips, that needs to go into my area. My vanity. I bought this swimsuit to wear to fat camp and then ended up um, not being able to wear it in time. But I think um, I'll just keep this for next summer and then I have a whole new suit to try. Nail polish needs to go into my vanity area, face masks, vanity area. If I were to put away things, I would realize I never need to go buy any more of these ever again. Um, sunglasses, earrings. I have a lot of jewelry in here because one of my travel cases ended up in here and I had a bunch of jewelry in this so I need to put them all away in my jewelry box. I got this Ipsy bag when the hurricane was coming through and I was at my mom's I didn't even get to try any of this so I definitely need to put this on my vanity so I can try the new makeup. I have some tech stuff um, that needs to go on my desk. This is when you realize you have a problem. Okay. 
that box is empty. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it for anything. It's old. It was in one of the boxes that I unpacked when I moved. Um, don't know if I need it. Okay, so I don't really have oh no, I do have a place. I keep this in a um, cabinet I have out here in my living room. I keep this in a cabinet that I have out in my bedroom. Um, I have a couple of different belts in the bottom drawer, so I'm gonna put that in there. This is stuff for my vacuum. It needs to go in my laundry room. More shoes. I definitely need to go through my shoes and make sure that they're ready for fall because I have a lot of stuff that's not in there. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep this. It's a beanie. Um, it's cute enough, but it has a little hole in the top for a bun. I'm not sure if I'm cool enough for that. Excuse me why do this weird, weird thing. Obviously, if you have your hair actually up, I'm sure it makes a huge difference. Oh my God, why am I doing this? Why? There we go. Is it a look? I'll keep it. Right now I have all my winter accessories in a container in that cabinet, so I'll go through that cabinet at some point. Right now I have a cabinet that stores all of my jeans, leggings, pants, winter accessories, and um, kind of like undergarments that are more like Spanx type undergarments. Um, I don't wear Spanx too often, but I do like wear bicycle shorts and I also have uh, what I'd call like non-inhibiting Spanx that are basically like um, Catherine's version of Spanx where they're very silky. They don't really hold you in, but they're perfect under dresses. So this is where that goes. And yeah, keep. This is a bathing suit bottom from Old Navy. I bought the matching top. The top was humongous. I could return the top in store, but I couldn't return the bottoms in store for some reason. I don't know why. So they never got returned. I think I only spent about $10 on it. I'm gonna put it up on Poshmark. This is the bag that I try to do some kind of surgery on. Um, it's a bag from Zara, I believe, uh, and it is cute, but I haven't worn it. Don't know if I am going to wear it. I think what I'll do is reattach, and then depending on how bad that looks, either sell it, letting them know that that's been reattached, or give it to Goodwill. All right, so some progress has been made. That whole corner is cleared out. Um, cleared out all the way through the bottom down here. So I did have stuff all on the ground over here. Still have a big thing of laundry to fold and put away right there. Um, have things hung up that I plan on keeping, but I haven't gone over this side yet and decide on anything. Still have a lot of stuff in here to decide on. Um, and I'm going to guess because I left it like this that some of the stuff's going to be wrinkly and I'm going to have to redo it or I'm going to, have to put it back in the dryer. So I think what I'm going to do next is hang up all the stuff that I want to keep from this one so that I have room in front of the dresser to do dresser organization and go from there.
by the way, I'm fully aware that my idea of neat is not everybody's idea of neat. Like some people are probably cringing right now watching me do this. Um, but I own a lot of tank tops because I wear tank tops underneath my tops 80% of the time. Um, and I have tank tops in different fabrics, different sizes. I can literally tell which one it is by touching it. Um, rolling is the only way I've found to like have enough room for everything. I really need to go through that pile of shirts. I just don't know if I feel like doing it today because I never reach for them. There's only a few that I do reach for. But then if I don't have it, I feel like I'll end up going out and buying it. Um, but I probably need to let go of some of that stuff. Like this top, literally only wear it when I have nothing else to wear or I want just a t-shirt for around the house. But where do you store that stuff? Like you still need soft clothes just to wear around the house. But like I don't want it to take up a lot of room. So I gotta figure out a solution. I know I have way too much stuff in this drawer. I think my camera battery's about to die, so I'm gonna give it a little bit of time to charge. I'm gonna go ahead and take this stock and put it in my cabinet. It's jeans and um, athletic wear and leggings. And then this is what I'm talking about when I say like that silky under thing from Catherine's. It's in a pretty big size. It's not really restrictive. It's just comfy, so I'll put that away. And I'll see you in just a little bit. Cleaning isn't very fun, but I'm pretending it is. This is all that summer stuff I pulled out. I'm sure I'm gonna find more summer things that need to go in one of these um, storage things um, as I continue to do the rest of the laundry that I have that I unboxed the other day. So what I have are these little space bags from Ziploc. Um, I used three over the winter and they seem to work well. They don't hold a lot in there, but I actually don't have a ton of room underneath my bed. Like, I maybe have three and a half, four inches clearance, so that's fine. Um, but it seals, you can take out the air, vacuum it, and it seemed to work well with my um, winter stuff. So, let's see, I have a few of these. Um, some are bigger than others, this one's much bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through all of my stuff that I have here fold it flat so that I can go ahead and start putting them in the boxes or in little Ziploc bags. I'm gonna try to keep my, do my best to keep things together, but not the biggest deal if it ends up not working out. Um, I'll basically unbag all the stuff at the same time, so. Oops, I forgot to film me putting it all up here, but I did. They're gonna come out a little wrinkly, but they're gonna fit underneath my bed. That's what's neat. It's heavy. Alright. Amazing. So I 
have a bag I'm working from right now, and a lot of it seems to be that I already folded it. Not all of it, but a lot of it is. Um, so that's kind of nice. Thanks, past Rebecca. So the nice thing is the summer stuff is taken care of. Like it's now in its little um, storage bags. I can put it underneath my bed when I get the chance. Probably after I finish the closet. And um, I don't have to mess with it again. Like it's done for the season. I think that took me maybe 15 minutes. Not too bad. Okay, hello, welcome back. Um, I've made some progress since I last saw you. I think I just showed you me putting away some of my summer clothes. Um, they are now underneath the bed, and so I can go ahead and start finishing up this. Um, what I did, I went ahead and pulled some things that are just like empty baskets that I haven't been using elsewhere. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and put all my hats in there um, because I'm not wearing these enough to have them anywhere important. I'm gonna go ahead and put them up there. Um, and then I also am going to use this empty thing to hold my um, small purses. And my only concern with that is that I'm scared I'll forget about them. But a lot of those ones are spring purses. Um, and I definitely have some purses on this side to add to that. Hmm. Because like those purses way up there, which you can't see. Those purses way up there I never, ever use. Um, so, hmm, it seems like the whole purses up top is not working so I'm not actually reaching for them. So maybe I need to do something different. Let's see. I'll definitely put the hats. The hats, well, now I'm second guessing the hat stitch. I do grab the hats whenever I need to take Lola out. Hmm. Sorry, I'm learning how to do this. Okay, maybe I'll put it up there for now. Do you guys have any suggestions? Like, how do I do this? I'm, that whole thing's gonna be taken up with clothes. I could potentially do some like things on this wall here. I do have about a foot and a half um, to work with. Could potentially hang things on my door, but I don't really like that um, very much. I do have a lower thing here, so um, I'll probably use that. But, but yeah, hmm. All right, you guys tell me what you think. What are some solutions that you've done to help with it? That I could also use. I definitely need to do some purse challenges to try to get myself to use some of these because I brought this in FabFitFun, haven't used it. I think it's cute, haven't used it. I need to either sell it or wear it. Also got this in FabFitFun, but it's very spring summery.
I have some skirts, not very many. I'm not really sure. Like this one is kind of like a house skirt, whereas this one's from Prem and it's amazing. It's for parties. Um, so far, this is how I do them, but I probably should at some point get um, a hanger like this to store my skirts by. Um, so I'm gonna create this first section for skirts, mostly because I don't have too many of them. Uh, so it's okay that it's kind of closer to the shirts because it's not gonna overtake them. Yeah, I just have those three. I think I have more in the wash, but only those three for now. Um, the next section I'm gonna do is I'm trying to decide they're gonna go dresses then cardigans and jackets I'm gonna put my jumpsuit in the dresses category all right um, so once I finish laundry, I'm definitely gonna have more dresses than that. I used to work at Gap. You would not know it by my folding skills, but I'm going to go ahead and color organize them by Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. I think you start with white and end with black, but I could be wrong. My friend Ashley will correct me because she remembers this stuff like crazy. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that just so it looks a little bit nicer. I've had for years and I haven't worn it because it didn't fit me very well but it fits me this year and like I'm excited all right cream oh this is a dress um, we'll just do it this way because you know gray cream rust color and then my jackets I'm over it. Okay. Dresses will probably need to go into this section once I have more dresses in here. But yeah, all right. It is organized now. I have my black jackets, jean jackets, light colored, detailing, newer one, other jackets my long cardigans. I actually think I have a long cardigan. I have some more cardigans up in here that I need to put in there. Dresses um, and skirts. Now I need to organize these and I um, will likely organize them by sleeve length and then by color. All right, so I, I typically do short sleeve on the left hand side. Um, don't know how many short sleeve items I have. Cardigan. This is more summery, so I'm going to put that in my summer box.
All right, so that's all the short sleeve I have that I'm keeping for winter. They're mostly like exercises, like kind of like day out, go do errands kind of shirt. I'm gonna do three quarter sleeve next. My shoulder hurts like going up like this so much with my bra strap against it um, I think I want to be done for now uh, there's definitely been progress but I have more laundry to put in here um, and plenty plenty to do those are shoes that I need to sell probably I uh, haven't worn them they're all like cheap clearance shoes all my coats and sweaters and dresses are here. These are all things I want to wear this season. All my um, sweaters are in here that aren't in the wash. I want to wear those. Shirts, I want to wear those. This is slightly more organized. I need to do something with that and make it more usable. I have plenty of hangers for when I want to do things. Up there is a lot more organized than it was, or at least it doesn't look like quite the mess it was. So I have more spaces to do things, but yeah, I'm like, a lot more work so maybe this will be part one and then i'll get more clothes in here and do kind of a part two where we really get what kind of like final decisions i make because stuff is still not completely decluttered but it is kind of a good first step so i'm done i'm tired i got a stitch fix box in the mail so like i'd much rather go try on that stuff <laughs> so i'm gonna finish this and thanks for watching me clean my closet i hope it wasn't too boring um let me know if you're interested in these things because I like it, um, but I don't know if you do. So anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye.